A family photo shows a radiant George Michael beaming as he enjoys dinner with his beloved sister Melanie Panayatu, mum Leslie and Gold Panayatu and dad Kiriakos Jack Panayatu. In the image, George grins widely as his parents gaze at him with adoration in their eyes. But from that idyllic scene, only Dad Jack is still alive, left grieving for his family who died in tragic circumstances. George was devastated when his mum died from cancer aged just 60 in 1997 shortly after he lost his first love, Brazilian Anselmo Filepa, to AIDS. Her death plunged the late singer, who is the subject of a new Channel 4 documentary, George Michael, outed, into a deep depression as he struggled to work through his overwhelming grief. In terms of coming close to saying I don't want to live, that would have been after my mom died, he once told The Guardian. I had this overwhelming feeling that the best was behind me. I so loved my mom, and respected her. Then on Christmas Day 2016, news broke that that shocked the world, George had been found dead in bed at his home in Goring on Thames, Oxfordshire. Aged just 53, a post-mortem later found the star, who fought for years to overcome his addictions, had died from heart disease and a fatty liver. The iconic star's lifeless body was found by live-in boyfriend Fadi Fawaz around lunchtime on December 25th when he failed to surface. According to a statement released by Fadi on Instagram in 2018, the pair had fought the day before and slept in separate beds. And when George failed to come down from his room on Christmas Day, Fadi said he presumed he was still avoiding him until he noticed that the position of George's door hadn't changed. Of making his gut-wrenching discovery, he wrote on Instagram, I decided to go and see if he was in. I could see that his right hand was up to his face, with his fist clenched, with his fingers curled against his cheek. His face looked normal. I saw that his legs were together but looked tense under the covers. I touched him, but he was cold. I was shaking him and saying, George, George but he was dead. George was laid to rest at Highgate Cemetery beside his beloved mum Leslie, leaving behind his father and sisters Melanie and Yoda. But exactly three years to the day of George's tragic passing, Melanie was found dead at her home in Highgate, North London, which had once belonged to George. A post-mortem revealed the 55-year-old died as a result of diabetic ketoacidosis caused by lack of insulin and high blood sugar. As well as being diabetic, Melanie, who was extremely close to Michael and joined him on tour with Wham! was also found to be suffering from hypertensive heart disease, obesity and bronchopneumonia. Initially, sources claim the grief-stricken hairdresser had died from a broken heart. A source told The Sun, she had been living as a recluse and only really went out to the hairdressers and post office and occasionally with her older sister Yuda. She stayed indoors, had shopping delivered and rarely left the house. Andros Giorgio, cousin and close friend of George from childhood, told The Mirror he believes that such a cycle of tragedy must be down to a curse. George was cursed. He lost the love of his life, Anselmo. Then his mum died. That was his thing, he always used to say, what have I done? Referring to Melanie's death, he continued, it's impossible, how could this happen? To die the same day as your brother, who had died three years before. I think the family is cursed. I can't get my head round it. Melanie is believed to have been buried with her mum and brother in their unmarked tomb. George Michael out at airs Monday 6 and Tuesday 7 of March at 9 p.m. on Channel 4, 